Hi everybody, it's Steven. Today I'm going to talk about the latest version of the Design Shine bike lighting system. I have all the components laid out here so we can talk about some of the features. And let's start off with the lights themselves. Alright, the first thing you notice between the two lights here is that they use the exact same housing between the headlight and tail light. They're about 120 grams each. The only difference being the size of the lid. You notice on the headlight here, there's a larger lid, kind of like a visor, and it does two things. It blocks the light that would be coming back through the clear lens cover from getting in your eyes, and it also helps out with the extra power that the headlight dissipates. Uh, the second thing you might notice, kind of subtle here, is that there's a small LED on the headlight that indicates battery status and there is none on the on the tail light. The tail light actually flashes the main LEDs to indicate battery status. Let me demonstrate that with the headlight when I turn it on you'll notice that LED flashes once to indicate the health of the controller and right now it's not on indicating that we're above 50 percent on the battery so if I turn on the tail light, which is also using the same battery through the Y connector here, what you're going to notice is it's going to pull the battery down a little bit. The status light came on the headlight, indicating that now we're below 50%. And what you see on the tail light is that for the first minute or so, it's going to flash once. That's telling me that it's below 50%. It has a special flash pattern if you're already in flashing mode that, that alerts you to that, but the idea is on the headlight you don't want it flashing at you so much telling you the battery status, and on the tail light you don't really care, so no need to have the extra LED in the case there.